Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith. You're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick test that you can perform in your process of diagnosing a code P0401 on many of your earlier model Ford vehicles equipped with a DPFE sensor. And this test is to see if the EGR ports are clogged in your intake system. Right behind the DPFE, a clogged EGR port or ports is the most common cause of the P041 code that plagues a lot of these Ford vehicles. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now you will need a special tool to do this. You will need a handheld vacuum pump, but they're relatively inexpensive. You can get this at a lot of stores, even auto parts stores. Not hard to get a hold of this thing here. So once you got your tool handy, uh, you want to go ahead and gain access to the EGR valve. And on this vehicle, the EGR valve sits just behind and to the side of the throttle body. Once you find that, Go ahead and disconnect the vacuum supply hose going to the top of the EGR valve on the diaphragm. Go ahead and hook up the hose connected to your vacuum pump. And then you want to go ahead and start your vehicle. But when you start your vehicle, you want to make sure that the parking brake is applied and that the vehicle is in park and be sure to chalk the tires. You don't want this thing to accidentally run you over. Once the vehicle has been running for some time and it's to normal operating temperature, Go ahead and apply some vacuum to the EGR valve. I wouldn't go in excess of 18 inches of mercury. Now you notice while I'm applying vacuum, it wants to die out on me. You see the idle's going down and it's kind of loping a little bit there. What's going on is the air fuel mixture is getting diluted with the exhaust gas and it's causing poor combustion to take place. On this vehicle, these EGR ports are not clogged up. Now I don't have the code P0401 on this thing. So this engine is actually operating within specifications. So this would be a good example to go by for a vehicle that has unclogged EGR ports. Now, if I were to apply vacuum to this EGR valve and the engine doesn't want to die like you see that the engine is doing in this example here, uh, say it only affects it marginally, then it's a good possibility that the EGR ports are partially clogged. Now, if it doesn't make any effect on the way that the engine is running at all, then the ports are probably clogged up all the way and they need to be cleaned out. Now, do keep in mind that if it's not affecting the, the way that the engine runs, you could also have a bad diaphragm or a stuck pintle on your EGR valve. Uh, in that case, you probably wanna take the EGR valve off and apply vacuum to that diaphragm and make sure that that pintle's moving on the inside. If it's not moving while you're applying vacuum, then you got a bad EGR valve. Well, folks, I certainly hope that this was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be happy to get to you when I can. Also, I made some other videos pertaining to this particular EGR setup on Ford vehicles. I'll post a link to those at the end screen and also down in the description of this video. Feel free to watch those. That'll fill in the blanks a little bit more for you. But this is just a simple test you can do along the process of diagnosing this particular code here. This isn't the full diagnosis for P0401. This is just one step to help you along your way in figuring out what's wrong with your vehicle there. So thank you again for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Also, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge or attempt this. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. Thank you again. Have a great day.